all, I just want to welcome all of you to Sakina, our very first Sakina family of Thai, and I'm so happy to see a lot of my friends here um, who I see every day, some, not every day, but alhamdulillah, I'm very, very grateful that all of you have come today uh, at my invitation. Loneliness is one of the things which is very much, you know, in people's lives that we don't even know. We may think that we have our families and our friends around us, but it's quite a lonely place sometimes because we're not really able to share our issues with everyone. You know, there's a huge issue for trust. Which I came up with the idea was that why don't we do something where, you know, it bonds people together, it connects people together. Um, I've come here tonight because I was delighted when Sister Safia put forward the idea of each of us being able to contribute to somebody else's iftar and to invite new people to share a wonderful celebratory Ramadan meal with us. And as a new Muslim myself, I've been Muslim now three years, thanks be to God, it's very important to keep reminding ourselves that our love is founded on, sorry, our religion is founded on love on the principles that the Creator loves His creation and we, the creation, love Him. What brings people to Islam in the end is love. It's not politics. It's certainly not wealth. We remember how the Quraysh used to torment the early Muslims and the companions of the Prophet, may Allah be pleased with them, being crushed with stones or put outside in the sun and to lesser degrees, these torments have carried on to this day when you take your shahada. So what brings us isn't that we're going to become wealthy. We, leave, we come with our hearts open and we leave the dunya behind, or at least we try to. So Allah puts love in our hearts. He tells us in the Quran, Bismillah, Rahman Rahim. Yet there are men who take for worship others besides Allah, as equal with Allah. They love them as they should love Allah. But those of faith are overflowing in their love for Allah. If only the unrighteous could see, behold, they would see the penalty. That to Allah belongs all power, and Allah will strongly enforce the penalty. The word love appears 93 times in the Quran, in 83 verses. Um, I want to begin by saying how honoured I am to be asked to speak at this event uh, and to pay tribute to the work of Sakina Counselling and all of his volunteers and especially, especially to Sister Safia for the work that she's done. Uh, as a counsellor myself, I know how incredibly beneficial it is to those who take on board these services. So, Jazakallah khair, may Allah reward you. Uh, and those who have benefited may all act as sadaqa jariya for you as they continue in their path to help other people, inshallah. So she asked me today if I would speak about the principle of brotherhood in Islam. Akhuwa, brotherhood, sisterhood. Loving one another for the sake of Allah. Being a community. Because essentially that's what brought us all here today. We are all part of a community, a community of Islam, a community of humanity, a community of London. However you want to define it, we're all part of a community. But there are certain things that we can do from our humanity and from our Islam, which will make us love one another even more. And I really mean that. This is about love. Without sounding like a tree huggy uh, hippie too much, because I don't look much like a tree huggy hippie. Um, I look more like a tree, my wife says, than a tree, tree hugger. But... We are about love. As human beings, we have an intrinsic desire to love one another and, most importantly, to love our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I want to begin with the story about how important loving one another is and loving for the right reasons. Loving for the right reasons, brothers and sisters, is fundamental to Islam. Because if you love one another because you only derive a benefit, it's not true love. If I only love my brother because he gives me money, or I only love my sister because she takes care of me, Rather than loving them purely for the sake of Allah, our Lord, Creator, Cherisher and Sustainer, that's a lower level of love. The highest is to love them for the sake of Allah. And let me tell you about loving for the sake of Allah. I'm going to give you a story from the past. There was a man by the name of Abu Idris al-Khawalani. And he was a student of knowledge and he went on to become the Qadi of Syria, of Damascus. One day he was travelling 
on a journey to seek knowledge, and he went all the way from uh, Medina, traveling to Damascus. When he arrived in Damascus, he finds a gathering of companions of Rasulullah okay. And amongst that gathering, he sees that one man amongst them, a young man, a 30-year-old man with a wide forehead and bright eyes and a beautiful complexion. Whenever the companions of Rasulullah would differ on an opinion, they would turn immediately to this young man. And they would ask him, what is the question, Ya Sheikh? And he would answer. He asked one of the people with him, he said, who's this man that even the companions, the noble Sahaba of Rasulullah are asking this man the question, who is this man? He says, don't you know? This is none other than Mu'ad ibn Jabal. The beloved companion of Rasulullah So beloved was Mu'ad to Rasulullah that when he left for Yemen, the parting words of the Prophet to Mu'ad was, Oh Mu'ad, I love you for the sake of Allah. This is the Prophet of Allah. The Prophet of Allah, the greatest of creation, is saying, I love you, O Mu'ad, for the sake of Allah. This is the same Mu'ad. Who the Prophet said on the day of judgment, he will be the Imam of all the scholars of this Ummah. So this is the man who all the companions are turning to. So overwhelmed with love was Abu Idris al-Khawalani that he decided, I've got to meet this guy. Nowadays what happens? You see your you know, young girls or even young boys, I don't know, they see Justin Bieber and they say, I want to go and meet Justin Bieber. You know, or, or, or uh, who, mashallah, brother saying, who's Justin Bieber? Ask, ask your kid. Anyone know who Justin Bieber is? Mashallah, we have such a pious audience that no one knows Justin Bieber. Okay, Michael Jackson, no, Madonna, okay. pop stars. Okay, maybe I'm just too young compared to the rest of you, and I know who the, who the kids are down with these days. So now we want to meet people we love, right? We see, we see pop stars, we see film stars, we see shiur, and we love them, so we want to meet them. Abu Idris wanted to meet Muad ibn Jabal because he fell in love with him the moment he saw him. So he planned, he said, in the middle of the night, I'm going to wait in the masjid and I'm going to see him before, I want to be the first person to ask, before he arrives, I want to greet him at the door so I can hug him and tell him how much I love him. He goes to the masjid in the middle of the night, hoping that he's going to be the first person there. Mu'ad is already there, praying qiyamul layl. So he waits by the side of a pillar and he goes up to him as soon as he's finished his two rakat, he makes salam, he goes by the side of the pillar and he waits till he's finished and he goes up to him and he holds him by the shoulders and he says, Oh Mu'ad, I love you for the sake of Allah. Mu'ad and Najal started shaking. He started shaking. He had tears in his eyes and he gripped Abu Dhabi's back and says, Are you really being serious? Do you love me for the sake of Allah? He said, Yes. He said, Are you being serious? Do you love me for the sake of Allah? He said, Yes. He said, please tell me, with tears in his eyes, are you being serious? Do you really love me for the sake of Allah? He said, yes, by Allah, I love you for the sake of Allah. He said, then glad tidings, because I heard Rasulullah say that the one who loves one another for the sake of Allah, that they will be upon pillars of light on the day of judgment. And their status will be so high that even the prophets and the martyrs will be jealous of. This is what happens if you love one another just for the sake of Allah. No benefit, no money, no ethnicity. I love so and so because they're Pakistani or they're Bengali or they're Somali or they're this or they're that. No, just for the sake of Allah. Loving one another just for Allah's sake gives you pillars of light. Such a status that even the prophets and the martyrs will be jealous. This is what we can attain just by building a community of loving one another for the sake of Allah. And loving one another for the sake of Allah is not just bound by Islam. If we love our non-Muslim brothers, our non-Muslim sisters for the sake of Allah, and we love for them what we love for ourselves, then we truly start to build a community. This was the community that Rasulullah built. The Jews, the Christians, the non-believers, all lived in what? Harmony with one another because they had love and respect for one another based on love for the sake of Allah. We welcome you, month we all adore. I, I really liked it and I'm glad Ansa brought me here and invited me over. Um, I had, uh, I, it was very interesting to observe the talks, especially by Ansa. I learned a lot about the Muslim community and what I also liked was the speech of Dr. Asim. That I really enjoyed that very much. He was, um, because it was basically for humanity and how Islam can contribute to it. So I found that really insightful and helpful also for 
how the where the Muslim community stands. Um, and of course, it was a great honor to see um, Lauren Booth here too. Thank you so much for Thank you. Thank you for being so welcome. Thank you. Thank this is a wonderful event. I have gained a lot this evening. The presentation, the food, and most importantly, I think so, the speakers were excellent. Alhamdulillah. How did you think of the event? And, uh, Alhamdulillah. Friends, Alhamdulillah. Friends. I tell you something. I don't know no one, but I met a lot of people. Oh, well, except uh, Brother uh, uh, Abbas. Yeah. Okay. Please say a few words about how you yeah. Alhamdulillah, the event was very good, mashallah, especially the food. Muslim always go for the food first. <laughs> yeah. But um, overall, um, I was so happy to see many brothers and sisters um, got together. And um, we, um, I didn't know this brother here. Um, first time I met him, and he's from Hounslow. I didn't know this brother here, he's from Hounslow as well. And, um, no, Hanworth. Ah, Hanworth. <laughs> no. okay. I'm allergic to Hounslow. They're from the London borough of Hounslow. Which part of Hanworth? <laughs> I'm trying to make it to Kingston. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it was amazing. I mean, to see. Um, I mean, uh, many sisters, brothers. We got together, and I got to meet um, Sister Lauren Booth, and um, we got chatting. And uh, because I work in the prison system, and um, and uh, I got to meet other brothers, which we're looking to work with. And mashallah, very good. And uh, Jazakallah khair to Sister Safia and all the other volunteers, all the sisters and brothers who has helped. Yeah, sure. okay. Alhamdulillah, this event was fantastic. Mashallah, is really, really good. I'm so glad I know uh, you all to uh, invite us to such an amazing event. Otherwise, you know, I'd have been sitting at home right now. <laughs> just with my family, just having some dal or something. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I'm, a, I'm, I'm asleep at this time of the hour. <laughs> <laughs> but the event, mashallah, alhamdulillah, is fantastic. Got some fantastic speakers. They were really inspirational. Again, I would never have come to such an event like this. Amazing event. Amazing people I've met as well for the first time. And I keep bumping into this brother. I don't know. Everywhere I go, he's always there. <laughs> <laughs> he's addicted to me. <laughs> <laughs> the food, alhamdulillah, everything, the whole event. Fantastic. I really recommend it. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Zakalah. We welcome Sister Safi, what do you think about this event? Um Alhamdulillah. Um it honestly exceeded my expectations. You know, I was hoping the speakers will be here. I was hoping all the people that I've invited will be here. And alhamdulillah, they all came. In fact, we had more people coming. Uh, they brought extra friends along. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy that everyone enjoyed themselves and it fulfilled the purpose that I um, created this event for, which was for people to connect and bond. And pure, pure about family, connection, uh, and giving. And you know, when we give, alhamdulillah, it uh, creates a bond, uh, a, a connection. And I hope, inshallah, that they will all go home and they will connect uh, with each other through this event inshallah so I'm very happy so jazakallah to everyone for coming we welcome you month we all adore we pray for happiness and more to all the people open up your door peace love and joy let them so, let them so. Ramadan, Ramadan, welcome Holy Month Ramadan, Ahlan Ramadan.